Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Guns Akimbo. And probably based off of that name, you're just like, what the hell are you talking about? And this was a film that I saw popping around, and I rented it on Amazon Prime. And it's starring Daniel Radcliffe as this man who gets guns, like, seared into his flesh. So he has to have them. And he's trying to save his ex-girlfriend who gets kidnapped. And it's a very straightforward plot-wise, like, needs to save his ex-girlfriend kind of thing, with all kinds of craziness and crazy characters and just over-the-top, just, like, violence. And the violence is really well shot. Jason Lee Hoden, who wrote and directed this, really has an eye for the action in this film, and it's exhilarating, and, like, Samara Weaving, who plays this one particular character, is just, like, a complete badass. Like, she is the heavy metal bitch from, like, Edge of Tomorrow in this film, and she just destroys people. And where it's, like, Hardcore Henry, that kind of idea where it's just, like, a video game level, just, like, violence, and it's exhilarating and crazy and over the top. And if you're into super crazy, violent, really well done action, this film's definitely for you. It's a little film, it's like an hour and 35 minutes, and there's not much to the plot, There's it's not very deep, but it feels like a really well-made real-life video game, and Daniel Radcliffe has fun with it, Samara Weaving is really impressive, she really owns it, I think she's going to be a big star, I really loved her in Ready or Not, and then like other performances pop up, like Rise Darby <laughs> pops up in this, and just crazy characters, it's an over-the-top violent action movie with really exhilarating action and some cool ideas without much depth and if that's like well pfft, i don't care you sold me on everything else that you just said go check out guns akimbo if you're like uh, but i don't really get that that's not enough for me this really isn't going to be for you if you're not into super crazy action movies. This is not for you. This is not going to get, like, new action fans into it. It's very much for those, like, extreme action fans who love crazy violence and crazy situations and new ideas on how to shoot that violence and portray it. It's exhilarating. It's exciting. And if you're big on action, you're going to enjoy Guns Akimbo. And if you're not, pass on this one. But those are my thoughts on Guns Akimbo. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.